Hi guys, this is Vidas and today in this video I will show you my nine step process of mastering uh, the third movement from the fourth trio sonata by Johann Sebastian Bach in E minor BWV 528 Un poco allegro uh, movement it's called All right, I'll be using uh, the Hauptwerk setup from Sonos Paradisi um, this is sample set Martini Kirk Groningen, right? So let's take a look at the registration first. Obviously, we will need uh, 16 and 8 in the pedals, in the green ones. So, good, there is sound. Now, probably, let's take a look. I want the right hand part to be on the different manual than it was in the second manual, second movement. It was in the second movement on the second manual. How about playing it on the first manual just to switch up the places? So maybe Burdon, Gedakt Quint, Laut, Desquialter. like this maybe with spell flout yeah maybe or maybe with cymbal too cymbal sounds quite bright for this purpose okay and let's see okay in the Hofwerk in the Hofwerk maybe I will have Gedakt Hofflaut Wolfflaut and Tertian uh, although Tertian is kind of low What about Bovenberg? Bovenberg coupled to the Hofdwerk maybe. 8, 4, 3 and Sesquialter. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, I kind of like it. Without any reads, that, that's fine. Maybe it works this way. Yeah? How about you? Do you have any suggestions other than what we have here? Or maybe trumpet in the Hofdwerk could work too, together with Bovenwerk stops. Yeah, I agree. Agree to myself. All right, let's save this registration combination for future. That would be combination number number two. Okay. So the first stop the first step actually will be to stop at every beat this is 3 8 meter 3 8 meter means 3 beats per measure i will stop at every 8th note 
Okay, rather slowly at first. No, no, no need to rush. All right. How about trying it out and see how it goes? I will show you the keyboards now. Oh, by the way, let me write it down the manuals. One for the right hand part, two for the left hand part. Just to just to remember and not to get mixed up. Okay, I'm ready.
a very beautiful movement um absolutely gorgeous minuet probably the dance is minuet therefore it's not vivace it's not uh presto it's not allegro it's un poco allegro therefore it's not too fast um therefore it sounds like like a minuet three-part movement okay let me do now step number two which is stopping at every downbeat okay how about now showing you the pedals for fun here we go uh, by the way if i will need to add maybe octa four octa four in the pedals i might do that maybe maybe i will add it now just to uh, compare the sound and if i like it i will save this combination okay like that so the pedals the camera angle and step two stopping at every downbeat
nice so that was my second step maybe I will mark it on the score one and two I repeated it twice can you hear can you hear the the rain yeah I think you can in the background right it's a very violent storm outside the window right okay you might even see see uh, in the right here on on the glass outside the glass there are very violent drops <laughs> cool okay so i might um, make it quick then the third step and by the way did you like it with my registration 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 oh you don't see anything let me let me change let me change to this view oh much better right okay registration the green ones is the right hand on the first manual repositive uh, the uh, yellow the i'm sorry the green ones are the pedals the the, the yellows are the the right hand part the r red and the blue are for the left hand part they're coupled okay and i added uh, the octa four did you like it so i hope i hope it's better actually so maybe i will i will save this combination too that would be for the future better okay let me now let me now check the third step third step would be to stop every two measures every two measures and i will be showing you entire setup like this okay let's do this
all right this is not very easy right it's obvious obvious i need to repeat each step at least three times in a row without mistakes before i even attempt playing uh, the next step so that's what i'm going to do when i stop the recording i will going to i will be going to repeat step number one several times then step number two several times step number three not rushing anywhere this is uh, too beautiful to to mess up okay so i hope you understand now that's uh, my process uh, each uh, step is going to be each subsequent step is going to be twice as long so if step number three was uh, two measures long step number four would be four measures long or stopping twice per per line sometimes it's uh, really four measures sometimes it's uh, less like three measures depends on how many measures fit in a line and step number five would be stopping once per, per line once you can do that uh, it's al almost down the hill because it's rather fluent by the by this time so step number six would be stopping at every two lines twice per measure uh, step number seven would be stopping once per page. Step number eight, uh, once per two pages. And then step number nine, entire piece without stopping. I'm looking obviously at the edition called Neue Bachus Gabe by Berenreiter. And um, obviously uh, you will find the link available in the description of this video if you want to check it out. It's, it's really, really good um like that okay so guys i hope this was useful to you please subscribe to my channel and, and look forward to my future uploads uh, tutorials and recitals uh, i don't know if you can see my organ bench by the way let me check yeah you can see that here but not in from this angle a little bit my left foot resting on the footrest of the new organ bench today i actually i will look the other way today i uh, went to the organ builder called uh, or the carpenter friend uh, audrus norinkus he, he has a workshop outside outside of vilnius about um, 40 kilometers uh, north northeast of Vilnius or north maybe north of Vilnius so I ordered him to to make this organ bench sturdy organ bench I don't know if you can see now our our old uh, pipe organ has the bench too so previously I was using using a pipe organ bench for for uh, for playing Hauptwerk but today it's kind of it's it's okay uh i i, I brought it from the shop and uh, now actually it's really sturdy solid wood i highly recommend it um very very solid the older snoring was previously made our table here music rack and even keyboard black for old nectar keyboards not this one but uh, old nectar midi controllers which are now at my friend uh, polus place so he is a very very experienced carpenter and i'm sure we'll be dealing with him in the future all right so please do those steps they really work i hope this was useful to you and uh, this is all i need to say right now uh, i will do the next video on the improvisation exercises by zizi de vries um zizi de vries is legendary uh, world famous improviser in the historical styles 
and he has recently opened his Patreon account and has a series of videos teaching improvisations, improvisation. So I'm doing his lesson number two, uh, uh, basically harmonizing in various ways. Uh, so that would be fun to do it next. All right, stay tuned anyway. Wonderful. So this was with us. Please send us more of, more of, of your questions. I really love uh, helping you grow. And remember when you practice, miracles happen.